Hey, Turgrim. I believe that's how you pronounce your name. I just want to uh, go over this quick, really quick video just for you about uh, some ins and outs of the uh, Obi Saber that you just bought, not the Annie, haha. Um, so, uh, in its basic form, this is the Saber. Uh, your main switch is here. I'll turn it this way. So, your main switch is here. You twist this until it's tight, and then that's like a latching switch. When you twist it, it's completely on. Twist it tight. Then you untwist it, that will turn the saber off when it's on. This is the kill key, if you pull that out, that's where you can charge it. Um, standard size kill key, also obviously pulling it out turns on the saber. Um, and then your aux button is hidden behind this clip. Uh, this, this, you actually can put tap that in and make the aux button. Um, and then of course, uh, this saber has the, uh, the fancy uh, core reveal, and you can if you see here, there's a set screw. I think it's a eight three seconds. It's the middle of the three sizes that I always use. Uh, but basically, with your Allen key, no, it's the bigger of the three, so I think it's ten three seconds. Uh, you'll figure it out. But basically, you know, you can just untwist that a hair, uh, and then this entire section pulls off, and that's just for looks. There, you know, don't pull on this or anything. You don't try to untwist this here at all. Leave this all connected here. You know, that's good to go. You can just display it, whatever you need to do. I don't know if you can see it on camera that well from there, but you get the idea there. So let me put this back. Just line that up with the F and tighten this. You know, just tighten it with just this low torque side. And there's that. Uh, now this, uh, how to get into the SD card should you need to. This is Allen key. I already have it loose. So I am, you just loosen that or did that. Then you kind of hold it steady from this clamp and pop this off the back. Then you'll see your speaker. You'll need to kind of pull that out with your finger like that. Then this while well, holding this clamp steady, hold this section steady, you can, uh, you can untwist, you see, this whole back part here. And then there's your SD card right there. Uh, and you can just get it, pull it out by your hand. Be careful, the board is a little loose once you've completely pulled this out, so don't begin on the board and be very careful pulling the card out. Uh, when you make your edits, put it in, whatever, you know, then just line this back in and twist it carefully because it, it kind of, you know, it has to go in straight. And sometimes, see, like there, it got jammed up. There. You need to just make sure you get it in. You know, then uh, holding this, you know, just tighten it. And just stick this back in. There's only one way it can go in. It's got kind of these ear things that I've glued over. Make sure your wire's there. Oh, wire's in the way. And then pop this back on. Uh, you can also, I'm not, I'm not sure in the movie if the D-ring's at the bottom or what, but you can basically, you know, you can move this cap any angle you want and tighten it down. So I prefer it straight down, but you can do whatever you want there. Uh, now the last feature, of course, is the emitter. So the blade does not fit in this emitter. Uh, so just holding this here, you can untwist this emitter. And then the uh, new emitter will fit right on there. Let me grab it. And what I've done with my with the emitter is I actually try to keep the blade on it and keep it tight. Uh, since there's not much socket here, I like to really jam this blade in tight with a little tape and always have it done, like, you know, tighten. And then that way when you're putting it on, you just put the whole thing on like this with the blade and just twist this tight. It makes it a lot easier than trying to jam the blade in and out and still having to untwist that. You can just do it one action like that. And that is pretty much it, you know, reverse to put it back. Um, and other than that, I mean, that's pretty much it. You can just uh, follow my other videos to see how to actually operate it, go through the fonts and etc. Alright, hope you enjoy.